Film Culture News, it's your boy Dre. Longtime New York Knicks fan and filmmaker Spike Lee was reportedly actually at Madison Square Garden during Monday night's Knicks game against the Houston Rockets. Spike Lee has been an avid Knicks fan for over 30 years, and according to some sources, he's even spent more than $9 million on Knicks tickets alone. During Monday night's incident, Lee reportedly entered Madison Square Garden through the 33rd Street entrance, also known as the employee entrance. According to Lee, he's been using that entrance for over 28 plus years. I've been coming the last 28 years, I've used one entrance. 28 years. 28 years. Plus. Lee was then asked by a security guard to leave Madison Square Garden and re-enter through the 31st Street entrance. But no one told me. No one told me. No one told me. I'm staying here. Now, you want to arrest me like Charles Oakley, you're going to throw the fuck down. Oh, you're going to arrest me like, you know, shut my hand from my back like, oh, Lee. Lee joined Stephen A. during the episode of First Take and told viewers that he is currently done with the Knicks and that he will no longer appear at any more games during the 2019-2020 season. This said you're being harassed? Yes. Are you going back to a Knicks game this year? Not this year. Are really? you cons are you concerned? No, no, I'm coming back next year, but I'm I'm done for the season. I'm done. This scenario is also reminiscent of the 2017 incident in which 10 season Knicks veteran Charles Oakley was escorted out at the shoving their security guard after reportedly getting into an argument with Knicks owner James Dolan. The New York Knicks eventually issued a statement in which they called the incident with Spike Lee laughable, saying it's disappointing that Spike will recreate the false controversy to perpetuate drama. He is welcome to come to the garden anytime via the VIP or general entrance. With the Film Culture News, it's your boy Dre. Be sure to follow the Film Culture to stay up to date with all things black culture. Peace.